YouTube, welcome, welcome back. This is part four of the Roblox Beginners GFX tutorial series. Today, I want to cover the pen tool. Pen tool is this tool right over here. It is right above the text tool. Um, if you click and hold, there are variations of it. But today, we're just going to go for the regular pen tool right here. So I'm going to explain to you um, scenarios that you would use the pen tool in, why you should use it and how to use it so i know a lot of you guys have probably seen you know speed arts of people using these mainly for ui or making icons stuff like that you know you can use it to make shapes to uh, do effects anything of that sort so it's very important so first things first uh we're gonna make a new layer because we don't want to you know make a shape on this background layer so hit new layer right here and uh make sure you're on your pen tool and I'm just going to switch my foreground and background colors. So my foreground color is black. And as you can see right here, let's go over these options right here. So first things first, you see right here, I have shape selected. Um, let's go into path first. As you can see, once you change into path, uh, these the fill and stroke options um, disappear and now it has selection mask and shape let's draw out a very very simple um, shape so to start just click anywhere you want I'm just gonna click right there second point third and we're just going to connect the last point to finish the shape right now this is just a path so how do we make this into a shape you're gonna want to go up here and you just and you're just going to hit the shape button right here now as you can see this will turn our path into a shape and fill it with our foreground color now how do you edit this color how do you change it how do you um, bring those options back so just go to your rectangle tool right here and these options right here will change your shape so you can use your move tool move this around we'll go back to a rectangle as you can see i have fill you click on this box and you can change the color. Let's go ahead and do a nice blue color. Just like that. Let's go back to the options. Right here you see stroke. If you click on this box, you see there's uh, there's four options here. This right here is solid color. This is gradient and this is a pattern. Right here you can choose um, from a color picker. All right, so let's add a stroke. Let's go for solid color. And here you can adjust the radius of the stroke. I'm gonna go for let's say 10. Like that. And you can also change the color, obviously. So let's go for a black color. Alright, there is our very, very basic shape. So let's try some uh let's mess around with these a little bit more. Let's go for let's go to fill and let's make a uh, gradient. And let's click on the black to white. Double click on this little um, color picker. Let's go for green this time. Hit OK. Double click right here. Go for a lighter. Go for a lighter green, just like that. So as you can see, that's how you can draw a path, make it into a shape, and add some color and also a gradient with a stroke onto the shape. As you can see right here, there are um, five gradient options right here. You could do radial. You could also inverse or uh, reverse the gradients like that as well. So you got radial, you got, an you got angle, reflected, and you got diamond. Next, let's go over to pattern. And right here, you can see you got a bunch of different patterns you could use. These are the default Photoshop ones. Um, I will go over how to make your own custom patterns in the future but there's that now let's move on to more stroke options and this is where it gets pretty interesting so if you go over here to this little box right here you click on this arrow you can see stroke options now you can have a solid straight stroke you can have a dot line you can have a uh, kind of like a racing line stripe line and this right here is a dotted line so let's go for straight 
as you can see here is the racing lines and right here is the dotted lines so let's go for a straight line and right here you have a line from uh, the center the outside and the inside so this is the inside this is going to be very important in the future when you're making ui you can see right here and this is outside um how do i explain this <laughs> when you're making your shapes and stuff you know uh, it's going to matter how you want to um, align your strokes for consistency and right here you have caps this right here is the straight caps so this right here is the round caps line uh, i'm gonna do a line by outside and corners you can make it round like that as you can see it's very cool so using that here's how you can make some highlights we're gonna make a new layer this time instead of path you could just head straight into shape and uh i'm gonna explain to you guys when to use these two and i'm gonna explain to you guys later um once you use each of these options path or shape so right now for shape let's turn off fill so let's click on the box and let's go for the uh the first option here now for stroke i'm gonna turn stroke on so let's go for so a color and uh let's make the color into white now right here i'm going to align from the center and we'll go caps both around just like that and now um for the radius let's do about 25. so we're just gonna click and as you can see as soon as we click it makes this nice little round shape so you can see some in you can see some inconsistencies and you can edit the way it's aligned uh, you can see inside it's kind of like that outside it's gonna look much better All right so you could use this for many scenarios um for example let's do a black color uses to make shapes like this um anything you want you can make patterns with this it's very very neat so now i'm going to go over when you should use path and when you should use shape so some cool things you can do with path are make a new layer let's do a basic shape so we go over here and i'm just going to click right here on the second point and as i click I will drag it to the bottom right like that and we're just gonna close this off so what we can do is we could go up here we can hit selection we can hit ok and now when it goes to our brush tool and as you can see we can use this for making custom selections like that for brushing and you can see why this would be helpful right um, when you're painting or making effects you could make custom selections and paint within you know the selection made so that's uh some cool you could do with the path you can make selections all right so before we wrap this up i forgot to explain to you guys how you can uh how to actually use the pencil to make the shapes you want so obviously clicking is very simple but making an arc you want to just drag it right now you're probably wondering or right, after i make this after i make this arc the next click is going to be a curved um you just want to hold alt and click on this blue square right right in the middle right here and once you click you can see now the next click i make will be completely straight unless i decide to curve it like that so alt click alt click right here boom and just like that you can make any pretty much any shape you want for example let's make a um let's go for i don't know <laughs> just some random uh you can make straight lines you curve this part go back down here curve this section i mean you could pretty much anything you want like that so yeah 
make this into a shape. Fill stroke. So yeah, those are the extreme basics on the pencil um, for the next couple more videos of this series. I'm just going to continue going over different tools um, because as you know, this is the complete beginner's guide. So before I actually go into you know, doing little projects and putting these, these things together, people that are just starting um, using Photoshop and making graphics, you need to actually understand uh, the tools at least to a certain extent before you attempt to make anything. So that is my goal for the um, next couple of videos. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm trying to uh, pop these out a little bit quicker. So you yeah, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you have not already. Expect a lot more coming soon. Uh, make sure you guys leave comments, um, feedback, suggestions, because my goal right here is to educate and teach people. So, um, so yeah, I'm always trying to improve on that aspect. So. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to see you guys in the next video.